This video will show you the most powerful technique that I have found for being able to change my self image. I'm going to give you the practical tools. It's going to involve something called NLP and then really show you how you can make it something that happens for you. Welcome back to another video. My name is Aaron and I help people expand their consciousness. Now in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you my story on my own self-image and how once I changed that, everything began to change. Now it starts with years ago when I learned about the secret or what we call the law of attraction. And when I watched that movie, it planted a seed because then I became much more aware of my thoughts and then I was much more aware of the correlation between what I was thinking to what I was receiving or experiencing in life. Now, the trigger for me though was I would still experience a lot of blocks. Like even though I would focus on more money, it wouldn't necessarily come into my life because I was focused on more money, but it, there was a lot of resistance there. So let me give you a little bit of a backstory to it. I worked at a sales commission job at Nordstrom's and I worked in women's shoes there and you pretty much just got paid a commission on whatever you sold. It wasn't really an hourly. So the nice thing about that is that you could kind of choose your own paycheck by how you worked and how good you got at selling. Now with this for years, for maybe about a year or two at least, I was focused on learning about the law of attraction and I would definitely see a difference. And I would see that there were certain, you know, I would sell more than I would before. But the game changer for me was when I learned about self image. Now what I did was instead of focusing on those external things coming into my life, like focusing on just more money, what I did is I started to see myself as a top performer. I started to see myself as one of the people that was always at the top of the list. Not that I was better than other people, but I started to see myself as just producing that much in commission and that much in sales. And what happened was is within one or two weeks of doing this, I started to perform and the top two or three people in my department and given there are people that I worked with that were way older than me that have been doing it for years that made uh, consistently a lot of money and I went from making probably about 20 or you know $25 an hour to then making about 35 to $40 an hour which is the commission you know the the breakdown of how much we got paid in commission so I nearly you know upped it by about a third of percent and immediately from that point going forward, I realized how important it was to change self image. So what I did was as I simply viewed myself as one of the top performers, I viewed myself when I thought about myself being at the job. I remember that there was the day that I realized this and I started to learn it. I remember that I started to view myself as like and as all of the salespeople were standing on the floor. It was like there were customers that were walking around and it wouldn't necessarily be that busy. But all of those customers would kind of flock to me. I realized that I was always in the right place at the right time. And that I believe was because the way I was viewing myself was in the form of a top performer and maybe people, other people saw that about me or maybe they just gravitated to me because there was like a new type of energy about me. But the idea was that once I changed my self image, that is when everything began to change. Now, in this video, what I want to share with you is a powerful tool. It's an NLP technique that can allow you to really disassociate with your current self image and then allow you to anchor in the new way that you prefer to be. And this is going to have to do with a also a meditation at the end, which I am putting a sample to. It's something that I created uh, within the last week. And it's very powerful for reprogramming the subconscious mind, but also getting and living in the end, really feeling and visualizing already being that which we want so that that becomes a natural part of who we are. Now, as I've said many times, our self image is what is called a cybernetic mechanism. Now, a cybernetic mechanism sounds like a big fancy word, but all it really means is that whatever the baseline is, it will always move back to it, which means that if we are focused on losing weight and we aren't changing our self image, we can go on a diet all that we want, but we'll eventually move off of that and go back to how we were before. And that's why it's called a diet because it's something we do for a period of time rather than a lifestyle change. Now this is where all the change happens. This is where you can find amazing results. If you view yourself as only able to make $30,000 a year, realize that even though you focus on more money, it might not come into your life unless you view yourself as the kind of person that is able to make 
maybe $70,000 a year or $100,000 a year or whatever you put it as. But that's what the key is starting to see yourself in that way. The most powerful way that I found to go about this is that we must first off become aware of what our current self image is. Most people's self image is on autopilot. They're not even aware of what it is. Become aware of the way you view yourself. How much money can you make per year? What kind of worthiness do you feel about yourself? What kind of relationships are you worthy of? How do you view relationships in general? Are they easy for you? Get down to your beliefs about your self image and who you are. And as you start to become aware of it, that's the first step. Now, the second step to this is to disassociate from that self-image, to realize and look at that self-image and realize that that is who we were and that is who we were based on prior conditioning, but that is not who we prefer to be now. So it's not like we're resistant towards it, we're judging ourselves, it's more like this observation that that's no longer who I prefer to be. So I would look at myself and realize, hey, this is the way I'm being, I think I'm only able to sell this much, this is the way I view myself, that's okay, I'm gonna let that go, but I choose to disassociate it. That was the old me, that is the version of me that is outdated. Now the next step to this, is to wire in the new self image is to form it in our mind and to start to view ourselves in this way now we can do this through visualization we can do this through what is called NLP and what we do is we simply imagine that we're looking at a movie screen now this is an NLP technique for disassociating for our from our current self image and then associating with our new one. So in this technique, and this is what I do in the meditation that you'll kind of see a sample to at the end, what we do is we view ourselves as looking at a movie screen, and what we do is on that movie screen, we see our current self image. We imagine it, we can just see it, we're observing it, we're not really judging it, we're just noticing that it's there. Now what we do is we look at it, and what we then do is we start to dim the color. We go from color to eventually black and white. Then what we do is we imagine it getting fainter and fainter to where it's harder and harder to see. It's hard for us to hear what we would be saying in that self-image. It's hard for us to really connect to it. Then what we do in the top right corner of that movie screen that we're imagining in our mind, we see our new self image and our new self image is the way that we prefer to be. We start to hear what it would sound like if that was us. We start to see it in color, very bright color. And then what we do is we imagine that those colors are getting brighter and brighter in that small image in the corner of the screen. We imagine now that that picture is getting bigger and bigger and it's starting to take up the full movie screen. And that once we get to the end of that and to keep thinking it, we start to view it as very vivid, as the only screen that we see, and then that is our new self image. Now from this point going forward, that is who we prefer to be. That is how we're going to act and that is how and we're going to identify ourselves. Now then the next step is to wire it in by taking action from that point of view. If we imagine ourselves as somebody that is able to talk to people in a very smooth way, that isn't so shy, if we imagine ourselves as able to make a certain type of money, we then start to learn about the processes of making money. We start to do our passion for a living. We start to find ways of pushing outside our comfort zone and talking to people in a new way and starting to associate pleasure with talking to people we've never met before. It starts to expand our bubble and that's how we really change our self image. Now what I've created is a meditation that you're going to see a sample to in a minute. And this meditation uses the power of binarial beats underneath music. And what it does is I then guide you through imagery to get you to a very relaxed state. And then what we do is we go within and we we construct our new self image. Towards the end of the meditation, we are doing a similar technique to what you just saw and we disassociate from our old self image and we wire in the new self image. And the idea is that doing this meditation every day over the course of a month or two will completely change the way that you view yourself and allow yourself to really be the way that you prefer to be. So this is something that I created. I, I kept the price very small for it because I want the most amount of people to get it and the reason I had to charge for it is because it cost me $100 just for the licensing for the music that I used underneath it. So this is something that I really take a lot of pride with. I really hope that you guys enjoy it and I really hope that you guys get a lot of value from it. So 
With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, I will see you guys in the next fit. Peace, much love, and namaste. Now, visualize the best possible version of yourself that you can imagine. Imagine what you would be doing in a certain scenario. Imagine how you would carry yourself. What kind of body language do you have? How do people respond to you? What are you seeing? Imagine the colors going brighter and brighter. I am a new person. I am a new person. I accept myself. Who I am and love sharing my energy 